characterized my debate with the British atheist Lewis Wolpert at Central Hall, Westminster, London, in the following way. Wolpert, there's no evidence that God exists. Craig, there is evidence that God exists, and here it is. Wolpert, there's no evidence that God exists. Craig, there is evidence that God exists, and here it is. Wolpert, there's no evidence that God exists. Well, I'm afraid that that characterization isn't very far from the truth. I am actually convinced that there really are good reasons to believe that God exists. And let me just sketch tonight briefly some of those reasons. Number one, God is the best explanation of the origin of the universe. Number two, God is the best explanation of the fine-tuning of the universe for intelligent life. Three, God is the best explanation of objective moral values in the world. Number four, the historical facts concerning the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus imply God's existence. Finally, number five, God can be immediately known and experienced. There's no evidence that God exists. There is zero evidence for the existence of God. On the other hand, I think we've got five good reasons, all of which point to the existence of a transcendent creator and designer of the universe who is the locus of absolute value, who has revealed himself in Jesus of Nazareth, and who can be personally known and experienced. My argument against God's existence doesn't depend upon genes. It's the absence of evidence. And There's no evidence that God exists. In fact, I would venture to say that Christianity as a worldview stands intellectually head and shoulders above any other ism or philosophy of life that you might care to enunciate. And for that reason, I find myself enthusiastically a Christian theist. There's not the slightest indication of evidence of the kind that we would use in science in our day-to-day -day lives for the existence of this supernatural being again. There's no evidence!